What a hit the cloud song. Time to twirl. Stay alert. Heaven search. Rise. Awaken, Dormant. World cleansing dragon. Search. Rise. Stay alert. Awaken, dormant scale. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> Time to twirl. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. <laughs> Heaven search. I 
Which has a useless. Do you know who this big diamond? It's all yours. I'm on guard. Huh? Time to twirl. The strength. Heaven search. <laughs> Rise. Time to twirl. Cleansing dragon. <laughs> Time to twirl. Hey. Lance at the ready. The times are changed. <laughs> the consequences are mine to bear. You call that a build update? What? Search. Break. Time to twirl. Do you know who this big diamond? It's all yours. Oh, Grace. I'm on guard. I sense a storm. Awaken the world cleansing dragon. Dragon. <laughs> Time to twirl. This big diamond. It's all yours. Time to twirl. <laughs> the strength. Heaven search. <laughs> Rise. Time to twirl. Uh. Lance ablaze. Lance. It's time. Time to twirl! I sense a storm. Heaven's search. Break! 
Cleansing dragon. 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 Cleansing Dragon.
Cleansing dragon. Cleansing dragon. <laughs> Time to twirl. I won't break. Time to twirl. <laughs> Rise. Time to twirl. Dragon. This was similar to the rules and the ex the jade silicon.
Okay, ich finde schon kann ich vergessen. Ja, das konnte ich schaffen. Lance at the ready. Time to twirl. Heaven search. Rise. Search. Break. Time to twirl. Let me tend your wounds. <laughs> Honor to me. <laughs> Time to twirl. The strength. <laughs> I'm on guard. Awaken, dormant's world cleansing dragon. <laughs> Heaven search. Rise. Time to twirl. does not mean cowardice. Water heats the cloud song. 
Stay alert. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. Do you know who I This big diamond? It's all yours. Heaven search. Break. Need a doctor? I sent a storm. Heaven search. Rise. Awaken the world cleansing dragon. You don't look so good. Time to twirl. Hey. Lance at the ready. Heaven search. Break. Let me tend your wounds. Let's <laughs> I sent a storm. Changed. Heaven's search. Rise! Let me tend your wounds. <laughs> Honored to meet me. <laughs> Time to twirl! Uh, you bully! It's time. <laughs> Need a doctor? Awaken, Dormant's world cleansing dragon. <laughs> Song. 
heaven's search. Break! Time to twirl! You don't look so good. <laughs> oh dear. Hey! Lance at the ready. Heaven search. Rise. Time to twirl. It's time. Heaven search. Break. Time to twirl. Let me tend your wounds. Honored to meet me. Lance ablaze. Lance. The Lance time to change. Lance, forward! Heaven's search. Rise! Time to twirl! You don't look so good. Awaken, the world-cleansing dragon. Times are changed. Heaven's search. Break!
strength. Do you know who I This big diamond? It's all yours! Heaven search. <laughs> Rise. Where's the dog? Awaken, dormant world cleansing dragon. <laughs> oh dear. Sense a storm. Hmm. It's a substance slash on my set. release Ich glaube nicht, dass ich das jetzt hier so schaffe. Ah, 
Mein Pferd? Caution does not mean cowardice. A little something for everyone. Upgrade configured. Will of preservation. Water heats the cloud saw. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. I won't break. Stay focused. I sense a storm. Heaven search. Rise. Oh dear. Lance at the ready. The strength. Cleansing dragon. <laughs> Stay focused. Awaken, dormant world cleansing dragon. <laughs> Not yet. Not now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
denke ich nämlich eine Stufe für die wöchentlichen Sache noch zu bekommen. Das Lance at the ready. Sense a storm. Heaven search. <laughs> Break. Mm. does not mean cowardice. Water heats the cloud song. Time to twirl! <laughs> Search. Break. Time to twirl. Thank you. 
guard. Heaven search. Rise. Time to twirl. Lance at the ready. Time to twirl! Heaven search. Break! Water heats the cloud song. Stay alive. Awaken dormant scales. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> Time to twirl. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. Do you know who I am? This big diamond. It's all yours. Heaven search. Rise. Time to twirl. Need a doctor? <laughs> Stay alert. Heaven search. Break. Do not fret. What are you looking at? What's in your prescription? How appropriate. Commencing classification. Not as fresh. Awaken, dormant. World cleansing dragon. I sense a storm. Heaven search. Rise.
Caution does not mean cowardice. A little something for everyone. Upgrade configured. Water heats the cloud song. Lance ablaze! Lance! Forward! <laughs> On my command. The strength. Heaven search. Break. Time to twirl. Honored to meet me. I sense a storm. Stay focused. Awaken, dormant scale. World cleansing dragon. Time to twirl. The strength. Heaven search. Rise! On my command! Do you know who I am? This big diamond! It's all yours! Time to kill! Need a doctor? Time to finish this! I'm on guard. Heaven search. Break. The consequences are mine to bear. Um. Uh, what's up, Empty? Wir machen jetzt erstmal die Main Story weiter.
Also, ja, das wäre, glaube ich, besser, wenn ich das zuerst mache. So this is the love, aren't you? Cloud Knight, the love who's... I heard that... The influence of the... Uh... Well, there's... judge I've met. What do you guys do exactly? Our work concerns the Mara struck and the life space. Be careful everyone. <laughs> um I speak red. <laughs> My HP is crashed. Have there's no need as much big for big crashes. Have it search. Break. Time to twirl. The consequences are mine to bear. out here I fear not death for the fate of the artisanship commission now rests entirely on my ship <laughs> not a don't try to <gasps> hey. no but what you just come with us for that what <sighs> I now move Cloud Knight, why did the General send you out here all alone? The extent of the disaster means the Cloud Knights are short on manpower. But don't worry, I'll keep you safe. Uh, this is a... A few more steps and we're at the main gate. Thank you. It's just a few... Everyone, the apprentice, no use in. Tr Everyone has their due. <laughs> uh, doesn't look like it wants to let us. <laughs> any I. Mm. You know, you're getting less. Stay alert. <laughs> Heaven search. <laughs> Rise. Time to twirl. <laughs> what are you looking at? Hey. Do you know who this big diamond? It's all yours. Commencing classification. Oh, grace. Criminal. Awaken, dormant skin. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> Sense a storm. Heaven search. <laughs> Break. Time to twirl. Hey yeah. <laughs> Lance ablaze. Lance. Forward. <sighs> 
nice team. Honored to meet me. Lance at the ready. Heaven, sir. Rise. So, are judges all loners? You don't seem to have any backup. Judges of the Ten Lords Commission have always acted independently, each carrying out their duty in solitude. However, there's the star skip. <laughs> The rebirth of the Ambrosia. Thank you. We're glad we could help. She mentioned the class. Aw, you just. We are. <laughs> All remains as it did yesterday. Would you like me to relay your... Can you wait a little moment? The Master Diviner will be here soon. She's temporarily taken on the General's responsibilities. Before meeting you, she must make the current situation known and fortify public spirit. This is her first real test as a general. I hope she can get used to things quickly. I don't think I can ever get used to this. It's a pleasure to see you all here today. Collating casualties and losses. Dispatching forces to round up the remnants of the disciples. Generalship is no trifling matter. How could I be enjoying myself? All I can do is get used to it. I think she's enjoying herself. Master Diviner, have you summoned us here just to sigh and complain? Of course not. On the contrary. I am eager to thank you all in my official capacity as Acting General of the Law. Ooh, all those benefits that the General... Yes. The... On behalf of the Astro... Oh, wow. Now that thanks have been expressed, I still have something to discuss with you. Seriously? It's not. It's just that. So. For example, I'm submitting. I was about to. Before you. Oh. The cloud. I'm already. As for how. I understand. Thank you. It's getting late. Extend my I will. You have guests. I shall take my leave. <clears throat> Madam Yukon must have heard. Yes, I have heard. Seeing four leave, yet only three return was enough for me to know that Fu Xuan's report was indeed cool. Ting Yun. I still can't believe it. The whole... The Anti-Matter Legion on the Xianzhou. 
How could someone who spent over 30 years working alongside me at the Skyfaring Commission turn out to be nothing more than a monster in disguise? Uh, Madam, you... I'm sorry. I understand. It's just hard for me to accept. Thank you for bringing Ting Yun's belongings back to the Palace of Astrum. The Stellaron Crisis has cost us too many comrades. Brothers, sisters, children. I'd like to invite all of you, as witnesses to this war, to a soul-soothing ceremony hosted by the Skyfaring Commission. Will you consider? A soul suit to put it in ordinarily given our limp countless clap all of these by combining it's not it's also my I'd like to I, I'd like to ask I've instructed leave this to us once again you always did say that I like to gossip and here I am rambling on proving you right again if only you were here to cut me off Oh. We're here to help sort out Miss... Well, I've managed to get through pretty much everything. It's all in this box. Please, take your time. <sighs> okay, let's see what there is. An amicassiter seal. Looks like some kind of... Anti... Oh, Ting Yun explained that one to me. It's a folk statuette from Foxy in Antiquity. There's also a note in the package. This is for you, Mr. Yen Ming. Wishing you fortune and success in every endeavor. Yen Ming, it seems like... I, I remember asking Ting Yun and I were from... When we used to trade in the rivalry between us and the... Oh. I was completely unprepared for this. I never thought Ting Yun would... If I don't return a gift... Huh, could there be... Do you know? I've never attended a memorial. The sleepless. Welcome to the sleepless. Oh, when I took famous Miss Timmy, I just thought she was. Abacuses. We have some amazing. All remains as it did yesterday. The Wapu is famous for its. Oh, how's it going? Isn't that the place? It's the main tourists for whenever I'm. Uh, spice is supreme. 
honored guests. Well, uh, so <laughs> when she first, she was, she probably, <sighs> oh, I heard the train. This <sighs> it was our about that bow. I think I know who Miss Ting Yun intended to gift it to. Mr. Yen Ming said an Ami Cassiter will return with it. All manner of Mr. Guards have their own distinctive merits. What brings you here? understood my pain. It's a shame I can no longer do anything for her. Thirty years ago, I fought in a terrible war. My comrade and I set sail together, but only I returned. The scars of that war. I felt tired of void. Despite rising to Helm Master, my military career hadn't prepared me for the type of meticulous planning work now confronting me. King Yun, on the other hand, was a born merchant. She never fought alongside me on the battlefield. But in her own way, she became a comrade in arm. I used to think that this... I was wrong. The Star Skiff is ready for the ceremony now. Every... W w wait! Wait for me! Miss Ting Yun prepared a gift for me. As a fellow Amicassador, I cannot fail to honor our custom. Yan Ming? I... I've brought a paper kite. I know it may seem simple compared to the precious items that Ting Yun gifted others in the past, but I heard that Foxians have a tradition where paper kites are used to comfort the souls of pilots who can no longer take to the skies. King Yun and I were never pilots in the strictest sense of the word. For her to be able to take wing once again would make her very happy. Tea that Mung Ming. This is a gift from. Thank you for. This time, 
The Sky Fairy, it is time for the... ceremony is finished. You should take a rest. Not yet. I my apologies before you. What? You can Please. So... All remains as it did yesterday. Would you like me to relay your message? What is your purpose for... Present company is... I am sure Lady Fu has given voice to this already. But the Law Fu is greatly indebted to you. Therefore, on behalf of the Law Fu Cloud Knights, I hereby present you with a Jade Abacus. Back when the Alliance was first, the same is true of this Jade Abacus. No matter how astronomically distant you are, the Lawfu Cloud Knights will all... Wow. <clears throat> of course, I trust that such an important article will not be used for trivial or inappropriate circumstances. Yep, got it. Say no more. Thank you for your general... Don Hong. General. In accordance with the Edict of the Ten Lords Commission, I am hereby authorized to relieve your banishment decree. From this day henceforth, you may come and go freely on the law food. Nice! But I must remind you that the crimes of Don Fong have had far-reaching implications. And some people, such as those in Scale Gorge Waterscape, will not be much moved by the issuance of a paper edict. While I can guarantee your freedom to come and go as you please, I cannot guarantee your safety. Again, I hope you can understand. I understand. This issuing of gifts brings with it a sense of relief. Even my wound is feeling much improved. The occasion calls for a line or two of poetry. The Express and its passengers. Himiko messaged me. She was also... She must have been... Himiko must... Uh, hang on. Uh, I've got... Fine. <laughs> Don't... There's a dream like... From a universal perspective, there is little difference between the lives of long and short life species. Um... <gasps> You're back! 
Welt was telling me about your experiences. I'm more than I pestered Don Hung to tell me about his experiences, but alas, what could have been a magnificent saga was reduced to a feat next time? I think I should be the one trailblazing with you guys. Well... <laughs> Since when did the work roster just change like that? Panacone, do you remember? Before Kafka's proposal, that was our original destination. The family is throwing a banquet there, and they sent invitations out to the express. I was curious about when the conductor is ready. <clears throat> All who enter here are either jailers or prisoners. Which are you? <laughs> Neither. I'm merely a lost traveler. <gasps> what a spectacle. The Stellarock, the Ambrosial Arbor, the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, the Lord Ravager. A series of threats that almost succeeded in diverting attention away from the crucial question. They who brought the Stellaron onto the Siendro, what was their motive? <laughs> Will you surrender, or do you require encouragement? Abomination of Yaosher. General, my power does indeed stem from the abundance. But I'm the same as you. We are both enemies of Yaosher. <laughs> That's right, Jing Wen. Stay out of our way. The revival of the Arbor is an omen. It's time for the Sienjo to choose its next path. The Rainbow Arbiter, the Plague's author, the Ruin author. This is a chess game between eons. If you don't stand with the winners, you stand to lose. And this time... We will put the abundance in their grave. to head to the next stop. Let's meet up with everyone in the parlor car. Pom-Pom's uh, not here yet? Pom-Pom <laughs> knows how to keep people on the edge of their seats. Ahem! Apologies for the delay, dear passengers. Something important came up, so I, the conductor, had to spend some time preparing. Yeah, what was so important? I thought everyone knew. Our next, I know everyone's eager to disembark and get to that first. Pentecost, usually this wouldn't second. Pentecost, it. Rome? Uh, anyway, if you could. Uh, allow me, just like most of the worlds at the during that time, the. Uh, don't worry. Why did these nameless, even if they left this according to the passenger? Uh, just name. We'll just leave it to. We'll conclude today. I'll broadcast an announcement. There's still some time before the jump. I should talk to everyone. Mm. You're the picture of. <laughs> I try, but. Rick How's it going? They're prob... <laughs> Rest and recuper... Is this...
upend the ancient. Find a seat. Ahem. Hi. Hello. Attention, all passengers. The express is about to make the jump. The express is about to make the jump. Please be seated and hold on. The train is about to make the jump. Five. These questions have no meaning, but I will answer you as best as I can. This is the border between reality and the memory zone, a dreamscape. Right this moment, you and I have coincidentally shared the same dreamscape and appeared in each other's minds. This is the Land of Dreams inaugural welcome for us. Worry not, for very quickly you will awaken from this dream. Forget everything that has transpired with naught but a faint lingering of loss. Pay no mind, for this forgetfulness happens with each new dawn. It is an occurrence that we have become accustomed to for so long. So, come with me. I'll take you home. left to the end of the corridor. I will wait there for you. I'm not there. Turn back. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You can come open this door. Take a look at the mesmerizing dreamscape. Well, you can still remember. This is... No. This way. After you. Am I supposed to walk up the wall? How is this even possible? Why not? She can hear the thoughts in my head. We're almost there. Can you still walk? <laughs> Girf, don't stop. Don't turn back. Don't look down. Or... These voices... They are just shadows of the dreamscape. Pay no heed to them. We're here. Welcome to the Reverie. May you experience an unforgettable holiday. If you need help checking in, please head straight to the concierge. Leave this realm and rise as you would on any other day. Forget this fortuitous encounter and return whence you came. But before you do... You may think it somewhat strange, perhaps. Have we met somewhere before?
You evoke memories of an old friend. In the haze of my recollections, she stood shoulder to shoulder with me. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close yet forever out of reach. May I ask you a few more questions? I tend to forget things, which is why rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. Uh -huh. The answer is inconsequential. You're spontaneous. For instance, when you awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. Are they your companions? Family? Enemies? You seem to have forged- Might I ask if you fear losing these bonds? a vast dreamscape, so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality. There, no one faces life's separations or deaths. Everyone attains their deserved happiness and lives joyfully ever after. I would ask, would you wish to stay? Imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Everyone and every face they remember, the joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging, all will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its inception, I would ask, would you still embark on this journey? I know this is hard. You don't have to be hard pressed to make a decision. As I have said, the answer is inconsequential. Hearing, touch, thought, through these you gain emotions, cherish them. With emotions, we make choices. And so we return to the original question. I would ask, do you still remember me? understand. How interesting. For a split second it felt like countless versions of you, alike yet distinct, gave entirely different responses. That was my final question. Thank you. We all have our paths to walk, <laughs> so we shall bid our farewells. Golden Dream is getting restless. In the coming nights of long, I'm afraid you will face many tribulations and witness many tragedies. And finally, your sight will only see black and white. But please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will reappear before you once more. What you must do now is ponder its significance. And then you can return to the waking world. That's where we all find our answers. Crying all 
all of a sudden. Uh, sounds like you had a nightmare. We just arrived in Astana and already... Uh, you should be careful. It seems your tolerance to Memoria isn't the strongest. Don't fret. Dreams are often the reverse of reality. While you were sleeping, the Express arrived at Pentaconi. Can you imagine? Yesterday's grim frontier prison is today's lavish hotel. I wish I could wander Pentaconi's streets today, but I'm pretty train-tied at the moment. You'll have to be my eyes and ears while we're here. Gear up and make sure you've got everything. And before you step out, swing by the back and grab March. She's waiting for you there. Is March 7th still packing her luggage? to the bathroom real fast. Coming with a girl. Go to you one.
Menge an Jazz, die ich nur kriegen kann. Einfach nur vom Quest. Boy working here on Penacony. Pleased to be at your service. If you need help with your baggage. Uh, over here. Something's not right. Should you need assistance with moving luggage to your room, feel free to contact me. Uh, please, go ahead. Don't keep your friend waiting. What's the big gathering at the concierge about? I'm sorry, but your name really isn't in the system. But in the information I received from the Astral Express, it states that we already reserved rooms. Please, check again for me. Yes, ma'am. Please give me a moment. The Astral Express, four platinum guest rooms, whose names include Mr. Welt Yang, Miss Himiko, Miss March 7th, and Mr. Don Hung. These are the only four names on the reservation list. Don Hung. I, I understand. No wonder our friend's name here is missing. When we responded to the family's invitation, she hadn't even arrived on the express. Something came up in Don Hung's schedule, and he couldn't make it. I have an idea. Uh, could you reassign his room? It's still the same number of people. She's a new passenger aboard our Astral Express. We can vouch for her status. I... even if that is so, I'm afraid... No, I'm not doubting your status. It's just... Well, it's just that right now, we're on the eve of the Charmony Festival, Pentagoni's most important moment of every era. And with the family's invite, all guests from all over the cosmos have thronged this place. Well, hotel security is on high alert with zero room for error. And with such a last minute change, it really isn't something that this young lady's words can resolve on a whim. My esteemed guests from the Astral Express, 
Please do not make it harder for her. We are sorry for all the trouble our check-in seems to have caused. Might I ask for your name? I am the humble aventurine of the IPC Strategic Investment Department, a non-performing asset liquidation specialist and subordinate to Supervisor Diamond. I was cordially invited by the watchmaker. <laughs> I also happen to be a traveler that's had to stand behind you for quite a while. Leave it to me. <sighs> I've heard that the IPC has also received Penacone's invitation. So forgive me if I'm mistaken, but you must be the representative. The IPC's elite certainly does have an extraordinary air about them. I suppose such an exceptional <laughs> figure such as yourself wouldn't mind paving a convenience for us? I must be hearing things. Paving a convenience? Shouldn't I be saying this to you instead? I've been waiting here for more than 10 minutes. Do you know how many credits 10 minutes is worth to me? It must be an inordinate number, which is why now, Mr. Aventurine, I have an investment that you absolutely cannot miss out on. The IPC's influence runs deep and wide, and their word wields the utmost authority. We hope to borrow your status to vouch for her. As such, you won't just be sparing much of your invaluable time, but also forging new friendships. <laughs> well, this is interesting. And how will my new friends benefit me? Now this is a topic very much worth getting into. Just as we are guests of the Watchmaker, why don't we make ourselves comfortable in Penacone before getting to know each other more elaborately? <laughs> Sounds good. But, Miss Navigator, I must point out that if I do something about it now, the time saved is from my own effort, not a favor from you all. But, what you said in the second half, I loved it. Friends, yes, nothing is more precious than friends. Especially a righteous trailblazer like a nameless. Going forward on this Pentagony trip, I'll be counting on all my trailblazer friends here. Looking forward to a delightful time with you all. I'm glad you've put it this way. So about the vouching... There you go, miss. Please allow her to check in on my account. I have an appointment with the family's Mr. Sunday. I will ask him to handle this matter later. Don't worry. I won't cause you any trouble. Um, but... Ali, just a moment. The family cannot allow guests to enter a dream while bearing burdens. Oh, speak of the devil, look who's here. It's Sunday, the most handsome man in Pentacone. Along with a singer renowned across the universe, Robin. He said you were the most dashing person in Pentacone. How interesting. I've kept you waiting, Mr. Aventurine. This way, please. Let us speak in private. Astral Express guests, please come this way and rest your feet. Wait. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry, but are you the the singer at Salon Superstar? If I can stop one heart from breaking, that's your song, isn't it? I never thought a cutie like yourself would be a fan of mine. Oh, it really is, Robin. To run into her in person oh. here. It is an honor to meet everyone. Are you also a member of the family on Penacone like him? <laughs> Truth be told, I am a guest like everyone. 
Hanakoni is my hometown, but I left when I was older. I was graciously invited this time to return and sing a song at the Charmony Festival. The person you speak of is Sunday, my senior, and one of the local leaders at Penaponi. He is also the organizer of this era's Charmony Festival. He heard you all ran into some difficulties and sent me here to provide aid. Alas, I arrived a little later than usual. I sincerely apologize for any unpleasantness during your stay. <sighs> Please, be at ease. I have instructed Miss Ally to resolve the system error as soon as possible. I have also upgraded your rooms as token compensation. Please wait a moment for the hotel to arrange for suitable accommodation. Mr. Aventurine has an appointment with the Oak family and has checked in prior. On his behalf, I extend his apologies to everyone of the Astral Express and wish for an amicable partnership moving forward. Thank you for stepping in to resolve this matter. But are you sure about the rooms? I wouldn't want your other guests to feel we were being given preferential treatment. Please rest assured that the family will personally undertake communications to handle this. It is only right that we, as the actual administrators, relieve you of any problems during your visit in Penaconi. I apologize for taking up everyone's precious time, and we shan't keep you any longer. If you need anything else while in Penaconi, the family stands ready to serve. May your dreams be beautiful and pleasant. Oh, it's just one surprise after another. But since that Mr... Which day was he? Sunday. Since Mr. Sunday's vouched for us, I guess we can finally check in normally? You and me both. I can't wait to get inside and just flop and roll on that comfy bed. <laughs> You'll have to wait for us to finish checking in first. Okay, there's no queue in the lobby now. Let's go find Miss Allie. <sighs> Esteemed guests of the Astral Express, your check-in procedure is complete. Please forgive us for any previous inconvenience caused. This is your Dreamscape Pass. At the same time, it is also Pentecost. You can use the Dreamscape Passes regarding the method of usage. The Dreamscape, I wish you all pleasant All right. down this way this is a long hallway is it just me or is this hotel too big for its own good
Best not to take dreams too. Finally here. Let's all head to our rooms first and put down our bags. Well, how about a drink first? Penacone's Soul Glad is very famous. Go on. We may be thinking of the same thing. Do you remember the invite that the Express received? Uh, the family's esteemed guests are cordially invited to Penacone to participate in our grand celebration that's why we're you recall correctly but there was more to this invite witness the impossible in the realm of dreams find the legacy of the watchmaker father of Penacone, and thus the answer to the question why does life slumber <laughs> i don't remember that part of the invite you mean there was a, a hidden message? This is the part that intrigues me. The invite sent by the family was nothing more than a music box that, when wound, would play an accompanying tune. But the box that was sent to us was slightly... Uh, unusual. The music it played had off-key notes in the background. I recorded these dissonant notes, and they were a perfect match with the gravity wave frequency when the Express made its warp jump. Also, the Express engine's spatial curvature was its encryption key. A distress call method regularly used by the Nameless. I can't be certain. It may be a masked fool's trap. From the execution itself, the Riddlers or Inquisition spirits could have done this themselves. When did you discover this? When we were handling that Law Fu Stellaron matter. I told Pom Pom about it first thing. It's no wonder that IPC Ambassador also mentioned this watchmaker. The invite he received must also have contained a hidden message, and it seems like he decoded it. There's something else on my mind. When the invite was brought up, that family leader mentioned being one of the actual administrators of Penacone, and that it was their duty to relieve us of any problems. In hindsight, there was more to that statement. He also had Miss Robin with him. I'm no singer, but her voice sounded a little strange. Would a singer really take to the stage if their voice wasn't in top shape? Are you saying... You suspect that the family did not send the invite, and is hiding something from us? It's possible. The fact that the family sent out invites to the other factions is already unusual, and your discovery confirms that there could be a third party involved. I take back what I said. This event is becoming more interesting with each passing second. Why didn't you tell the others? We shouldn't interfere if this is just an internal affair of Penacone or the family. But you said so yourself. Well, I did. Which is why... Before we set off, I told March 7th and Don Hung about this. <laughs> so I was the only one kept in the dark then. Because you were zonked out the whole ride. No one had the chance to tell you. Who sent the invite? What is the purpose of gathering all of the factions into Penacone? 
And why does the family choose to remain silent about their knowledge of this? Uh, there are too many unanswered questions. We must use the utmost caution before we go deeper. Right now, let's just focus on the conductor's request. We'll collect intel while enjoying this wonderful vacation. Penacone is, after all, a famed resort of the cosmos. Not many get a chance to even visit in their lifetime. Head back to your rooms, get some rest, and prepare to enter the dreamscape. It's time to head back to my room. Before entering the dream, I should probably talk to the rest. again. <laughs> Calm down. I'm just here to soak in the festive vibe. This may be your room now, but half a system hour ago, it was still mine. A lucky block number, a lucky floor, a lucky room number. You have no idea how much I went through to book this precious space. And now I've... Oh, I'm not sure I like that tone. Pentagoni's a true blue land of dreams. How many across the stars would spend half their lives just to acquire an admission ticket into the Reverie? Yeah. <laughs> 
mean, think about the type of people who can even afford to stay here. If it wasn't for my brilliant plan, you think the family would offend those bigwigs just to sate the paltry whims of an unsought guest such as yourself? So sit down and let's have a chat. With everything said and done, I think I deserve at least this much, right? Wrong. You're the one I seek. Simply put, my friend, I need your help. You may or may not know this, but Panacone's far murkier than it seems. The family's eyes are everywhere, but you get the drift. My goal is simple. Help the IPC retrieve some things that belong to them in the first place. If you agree, when this is done, you will stand to reap great rewards, as well as the preservation's protection. It's clear you're not just one of the crowd. You possess a distinct quality, so magnetic that it could sway the outcome of any game. That power, you really don't wish to use it. Or, you don't want to be rid of it. Why not use it? The power that men both fear and desire is right in the palms of your hand. Miss Stellaron, have I hit the nail on the head? Warning me? <laughs> oh, you're too funny. You don't have to answer me now. Sit on it for a while. When the time is right, I will look for you again. Of course, you can confer with your colleagues as well. Or go as far as to use me in turn. I welcome that notion. Because it will also show me your true value. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So I hope that friends don't let me down. I already said there's no rush to give me an answer. Because no matter what happens, the outcome will remain the same. Oh yes, before I go, let's play another game. A simple game to get to know each other better. You just have to guess which hand the chip is hiding in. It'll help me get a better grasp on your personality and the way you do things. Left or right? Get ready. I'm about to reveal the answer. No? I didn't get your answer. Oh, but that's fine, because... Friend, the game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. No reason to choose otherwise. And no other choice. Hello. Huh? What are you doing in my room? Your room? <laughs> well played, friend. You haven't been in Panacone long, but you all- Oh, don't misunderstand. <laughs> I'll make my- <sighs> Why haven't you left? This is my room. <laughs> I just... Take it easy. This is indeed your room. I was just passing by. I'm trying to find my own room too, and I heard a commotion here. So I came to take a look. Luckily your door was open, or it could have gotten dangerous. That man looked like he was up to no good. Anyway, as long as you're alright. I should return to my room too. But before I go, can I ask you a question? Have we met somewhere? Is that so? I haven't been able to shake off this familiar feeling since just now. 
Maybe this is what they call deja vu. <laughs> or it could purely be serendipity. This is your name, isn't it? <laughs> you forget. That man mentioned it before he left. My memory's not very good, but it's not so bad that I can't remember details from just minutes ago. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You can call me whatever. Lastly, a gentle reminder. There are people who possess unwavering resolution and faith, even unto death. And they do not wield such conviction for good. One who wears a blade must use it. I thought you should know all this before me. Acheron left. Forget it. It's taken a while. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, can you point me in the direction of... Seems like it's over. Time to work the dream pool according to the Dreamscape Pass's instructions. Welcome to Pinaconi, honored guest. Please relax. Feel the ebb and flow of your body. Just focus on breathing and imagine you're in paradise. Imagine a dreamland. Uh, what is it, Ratio? Why the long face? Hey, I just realized, where's that handsome bust of yours? You're late. By four minutes and 16 seconds. You better have solved the mystery of Akavili's fall. Otherwise, I suggest not tangling with the nameless. <laughs> you mean you don't believe me when I say I truly wish to befriend them? Clamorous people do not make friends. Fun fact. The Atini Peacock boasts one of the universe's more jarring songs, and your choice of attire is somewhat peacock-esque. <laughs> it seems this peacock is short of a feather or two. The family's been rummaging through your things, haven't they? Yeah, by that gray-suited fellow. All the cash gifts and the box containing the cornerstones. Huh? Where are you going? back home to tell the corporation that some idiot ruined everything. <laughs> it's nothing more than a few rocks. Why so serious? <laughs> Who cares if they're gone? Without that aventurine stone, you're nothing more than a doomed Sigonian thrall sentenced to die by the IPC. Or is that serial number on your neck a cherished memento from the Amber Lord? <laughs> you're funny, I'll give you that. It appears our erudite friend has done his homework. It's my job. How would a gambler wrest Penacony back from the IPC otherwise? <laughs> Don't worry, Doctor. I have my ways. The family fears interference from the IPC, hence their constant intervention. More to play devil's advocate, perhaps Panacone might have always been a ruse under the guise of the Harmony. If you ask me, that invite is nothing but a self-planted diversion. Or someone else made the invite, and they acquiesced to elevating the magnitude of the plan. 
Well, regardless. Get to the po- <laughs> Damn. <laughs> then, that depends on- mm, So you don't trust me either. Now that was easy, wasn't it? Also, I didn't go to school, and my parents didn't teach me any of that. None taken. But they did teach me that friends are weapon. <clears throat> Let's see. The Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express have already made contact. The Annihilation Gang... I can't really... Speaking of which, I ran into a woman just now who introduced herself as a Galaxy Ranger. The whole conversation felt... Huh? <laughs> well, you don't really disdain me that much, do you? So this is... the dreamsky atmosphere here cre- Um... No. provide guidance to our guests. Huh? You, this is a temporary interchange, so it looks a little rundown. The reverie in the dreamscape is currently undergoing a revamp. I apologize for any unpleasantness in your stay. But if you enter the golden hour, I'm sure all your troubles will dissipate in an instant. You just go right through that door to reach golden hour. Wish you an unforgettable dream. Behind this door is the real Penacony. I'm looking forward to it. after all <laughs> seems like our guest here hasn't gotten used to the transition fret not feeling a sense of weightlessness is normal for new visitors robin please guide our friend in getting more comfortable with the new environment leave it to me don't worry just a little inhale you should be feeling fully in control now <laughs> I merely changed your state of mind for you to feel more at ease. Relax. Essentially, it's like learn. Thanks for the compliment. Unless you're one of the memo. Oh, oops. <laughs> Don't mind him. Should I visit it? This place is bustling. There are so many people living in the dreamscape.
Wristwatch by the Stent family hit the market. entertainment Uh, 
I really checked love off the Rocky. list. Wait, did that billboard just move? According to the map, this is the Dreamscape sales store. Trailblazers from the Astral Experience. Welcome to Dreams. It's the magic of psychoanalysis, madam. Dr. Edward is happy to assist you. Here's where you get to experience... Oh, if I'm not mistaken. Please, and that's the end of my... It's a contribution to me. Trailblazer from the Astral Express. Do you plead guilty? Any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream bubble. In the dream bubble, you will be living through another person's past memories. You will experience what the original owner of the memory once experienced. If any details are missing from the dream bubble, your the sins you've committed are beyond pardon. But I respect every individual's right to carry out volunteer work. Give this place a thorough cleaning! <laughs> My apology. When I received this dream bubble, some of the audio tracks were missing. Perhaps even the memorial is unable to transmit the voice of Achaville. However, I can make some adjustments to the dream bubble to improve your experience. <laughs> The subconscious has it. Well, please. Is only the 
the beginning of your list of culinary offenses? There are cases of entire entries disappearing from the Express Data Bank. Plants in the parlor car being watered with soul glass. Disrupting the conductor's rest with noise. And a break-in to the conductor's exclusive snack vault. My apologies. By order of the Alsace family, delicious, thirst-quenching, soul glad is the only brand of beverage permitted to appear in recorded dreamscapes. And that's not even half the list. There are a total of 46 cases of malicious conduct. Do you admit to being the culprit in every case? Uh, sorry. I am indeed the worst nameless in the universe. No, you are not. Could there be anyone worse than me? Of course there is. Who? That guy who blew up the train into two pieces. That's all for the content of this dream bubble. How was your experience? <laughs> who blew up the train into two pieces? aligns with what you desire in your subconscious. This dream bubble. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Ah. I was hoping I would find some clues about the nameless up here. Well, can't expect it to be that easy. She went that way. Get her! Don't even think about running away. You stow away. <sighs> Sorry for bothering you. Please, I need your help. Hey, look. She has an accomplice. Ha, good work. Now we can nab them both in one go. I'm on guard. Awaken, world cleansing dragon. <laughs> Heaven search. Rise. Time to twirl. You don't look so good. Hey, what are you looking at? The strength. Heaven search. Break. Honored to meet me. That's it up, boys. <sighs> Uh, sir, sir, what's gotten into you all? Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? Huh? Who? Who's this? Uh, don't you know him? Look, I see. Sir, the thing is, we're trying to apprehend a stowaway. And that young lady there looks very suspicious. That's nonsense. Take another look, will ya? The witness report says that the suspect is a lad with silver hair, and you guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Does that even make sense? She's our guest. <sighs> well, just get out of my way, and I'll take care of this. Yes, yes sir. sir. Sorry for all the trouble you went through back there. I'm Gallagher from the Bloodhound. Because of their youth and... Bloodhound family, we got a tip that... Huh? Don't worry. Huh? That... Just part of the... <laughs> I need to get going. If you need help, you can... Re... Oh, I owe you... Thank you so much. By the way, I've just noticed. You're a nameless, right? You have the Astral Express badge on you. I saw it on the big screen once. I also know that... You guys often- Although the Bloodhound- When there are no acting gigs? 
Glad to hear that. Over here. It's not a bad idea to get to know about this place. The first stop, most there were also stores that sell items purchased in the dream just outside the mall. In Give him a kid's meal. <laughs> We're here. Hey, have you ever heard of this saying that goes in a dream? Well, you can find all kinds of them. <laughs> You're welcome. Are you done ordering? I love their oat cake rolls. I get one from here. Well, that's why I only have one. Per Let's walk while we eat. It's time. Ugh. I still gotta get in line in a dream. <laughs> this is the luxury store I told you about earlier. If we keep going, we'll reach Glock's Avenue, which is the road to Golden Hour. Over here, follow me. Please come this way. Let me show you something interesting. Look, that it's the oldest and I know, right? By the way. I can't believe you haven't heard. There are different stories. The true story is anyway. As his inspiring cartoon character. Hmm. Hmm. My pleasure. Hey! Hey, help! Help me! Huh? Help! Help! <laughs> really? You j well, <laughs> if you're okay, let's move on. I can get silent to you. <laughs> Checked off the list. Building is a pretty unique since the moment it was during the once in an end. Here we are. Next, I'll bring you. Up ahead is Idine Park. Everything here is themed around Soul Glad. It's a little crowded, so make sure you stay close to me. This is the Soul Glad. Is Idion then Carb? Did you know? No, this is also the. Time waits for no one.
see these musical instruments playing themselves with no human performer in Penacony? Many objects and facilities have gained self-awareness due to the influence of the Memoria. After being tamed by the family, some of them form the Sweet Dreams troupe to provide entertainment for guests. Be careful, though. Sometimes these animated objects can be affected by dangerous emotions or memories and, uh, transform into the destructive Dream Jewel troop. <laughs> if you ever run into them, go ask the security guards nearby for help. Hey, there's a ride attendant over there. Let me get some ID and tokens for you. With those, you'll be able to try any of the attractions here that you fancy. Pretty straightforward. This is the one. It has to be. <laughs> Holy moly, it's the grand prize! <gasps> Today must be your lucky day.
Isn't this a dream? Why am I still so sure? What's new? The heck I know.
This damp will affect my joints. Once again, another moment of peace has passed golden hour by. And that concludes the news. I wish you all safe and sound. Hmm. Become part of the family. Raise and laugh and enjoy. You've had quite a bit to drink. Are you sure you're okay? Should we try first? Since this is your first time here, I say we start with the easiest games.
perform there as well when I was younger. off the list. Which one should we try first? Since this is your first time here, I say we start with the easiest games. The dreamy slots and lucky wheel are pretty straightforward. What's taking Firefly so long? Hmm. She's heading toward the bar.
I've used up all the tokens. Time to meet Firefly. Please do not hit the entertainment. Did you have fun? Pentagoni's golden hour? I know, right? It's fast and I really I am. Hey, could you come closer? Closer. Did you travel here alone? you through a very long scenic route and visited all kinds of places just now because well some don't turn around I'm, i wondered whether he was a friend of yours but my instincts told me he wasn't he's about five feet nine inches tall give or take judging from his strong build it's clear that he's well trained he walks in long strides but his steps are light and barely audible that way of walking. He looks like a skilled fighter. The covert kind. He has large palms, yet his fingers are slender and nimble. I reckon he has experience using knives, like a short sword or a dagger. Do you know anybody like that? A maroon jacket, emerald eyes, dark blue hair. Ah, he's coming our way. Hey, well, if it isn't my most loyal customer. The Trailblazer Girl. It's been such a long time, old friend. What a coincidence to run into you here. Oh my. You're such a hoot. You're surprised as... Um... Oh, Miss March. My name is Firefly? I'm mistaken. Oh, no one. It's my pleasure to... Come on. It's Mr. Sampo. My purpose. Speaking of which, I've been watching you two. <gasps> Looks like my analysis. Well, uh, Mr. Sampo. Anything bothering you, Miss Firefly? Don't worry. This isn't going to involve anything illegal. <laughs> what a scam. Uh, it takes a lot. Pinball machine? Dangerous. Come on, pal. is right this is no ordinary salon the only guests allowed to enter are the Papeshi people or those with VIP cards but then again here we are huh? right 
paid. I... Three. Show me your VIP. No problem. It... I'm talking about your friends. I'm... Um, well, how can my friends have VIP cards when they've only just arrived? Can you make an exception and let them in? I'll pro... No, I can't. Well, seems like we can't... Just stay cool. Okay, so we are the moment of just a few. Sure thing. I'll deliver your mess. <clears throat> Here's the item. Miss Thunderbolt is now. We're only short of one item, which we might be able. Is that? Why was this team? <laughs> hey, how about? I want to let you in. Of course, it's. Oh, you look that now if you want to return Ooh, here it will cheer you on <laughs> I finally caught you you little Hanu Oh, look how small you've become. You won't be able to escape this time. Ah! No, I hate my mouth for revealing my secret.
breath. I need a practice in it. Vision. I hold a vision. Practice it. I hold a vision. vision. I need a practice in it. Ich 
Naja, so viel ist das hier. Nice of this one. This is yeah. Superb. Um, mm. this is a service we offer. Well, a dream I wished I could have. Miss Firefly, I trust you have prepared all the necessary. <laughs> Your donation is it's ready. Jump up. Is this the clinic in the Bellabog underworld? Why is it empty? Oh, no need to be hasty now. You should take a moment to get used to the feeling of the... Is this another... That's the thing about dreams. Anything can feel familiar. Stop nitpicking the deed. <laughs> what? What is happening? <laughs> I think that ha super beta Who saw but a saber to do? I'm confused. Kotakoki. Yeah. 
もうか待てはたほどじまあえたたただひがた、はあもうよきそとだるだとだるだとのむかいごパパもとかのもいらはら I finally collected three proofs of trust Let's go back and deliver them Is this where the final battle will take place? Not sure how I feel about this. Didn't they say the garbage king would have I been set? <laughs> What? A bummer? I was really looking forward to seeing how our friend was going to overthrow the Garbage King. What a huge pity. Such a meanie. I was looking forward to seeing. Hint at? No. Don't you want to find out the truth behind the dream? Don't let all that pretty s t o n t you think this dream bubble a small stage? You're not at home anymore, kid. Seems like you really do have no clue. Turn around and take a look. Is that girl still here? She claims to be a local, but doesn't know how this world works. All she's got is street smarts. Who exactly is she? You don't find her the least bit. Suspicious? You better hurry up and confront. See you around, pal. What did Sampo mean? Is Firefly hiding something? I must find her and demand an explanation from her. She shouldn't be too far off. Thanks for watching. Thank you for still j o i n i n g And see you next time. Bye bye.